The Kalinago people of Dominica live on a territory on the rugged east coast of the island. On these hilly slopes grow the Maya plant, which provides one of the main staples of Kalinago cuisine, cassava. Cuttings from the plant are placed in the soil, and in 9 to 13 months, the tubers are ready for harvest. The mayoc plant comes in two varieties, bitter and sweet. The bitter variety is used for making cassava bread and farine and requires some processing. The sweet variety can simply be cooked and consumed like potatoes. The process of making cassava bread involves peeling the mayoc and grating it into a pulp. The grated mayoc is then squeezed using a matapi or a piece of cloth or bag to extract the juice and get rid of toxins. The juice is rich in starch. This starch, known in Quayol as mushas, is allowed to settle. Once settled, the excess water is drained off and the starch is put to dry. The grated mayoc is then sifted using a hebichette. The dried starch is also added during the sifting process to give the grated mayoc some consistency. To make cassava bread, a small amount of grated mayoc is placed on a metal plate called a platin, which is heated by fire. After 10 to 15 minutes, the cassava bread is baked. The Kalinago people make several types of cassava bread. There is the plain cassava bread to which just salt is added. There are other types of cassava bread to which sugar, salt, grounded coconut or ginger are added for flavoring. Another important product is cassava farine. To make the farine, the grated mayoc is placed in a metal vat which is heated by fire. The grated mayoc is shifted around using a wooden pallet. Once the farine makes a crackling sound or does not stick to the fingers, it is ready for consumption. In early times, cassava production was a subsistence activity and a social affair. Nowadays, cassava production is an important economic activity for the Kalinago people. The increased demand for cassava products has resulted in the commercialization of cassava production. In the Kalinago territory, two cassava bakeries now operate on a commercial basis. The Easy Side Bakery and Daniel's Cassava Bakery. At the historic Barana Oti, a small traditional bakery operates to cater to visitors. Traditionally, the making of cassava bread and farine is a long and tedious process. The commercialization of cassava production required a speeding up of the process. In order to do so, the cassava bakeries have introduced electronic grinders, compressors and blenders. The commercialization of cassava production has resulted in farmers planting mayoc in greater quantities and thus earning additional income. In some cases, the cassava bakeries contract farmers to plant mayoc to meet their needs. The mayoc is a hardy plant and very resistant to disease and hurricanes, thus making the crop a viable option for farmers. While cassava production has become a more commercial activity, the future of the tradition in the Kalinago territory hangs in the balance. Nowadays, the younger Kalinago are not as involved in cassava production. There is increased competition from producers outside the territory. There is also the need to create more products from cassava to attract consumers. Hopefully, the increasing demand for cassava products in Dominica and beyond will lead to younger Kalinago getting involved in the cultivation of mayoc and the making of cassava products and thus perpetuate a long-standing Kalinago tradition. <laughs>